So what we're going to do here is uh, demonstrate a little bit about animal handling, uh, how sheep respond to people, how we restrain them uh, without exerting a ton, of, a ton of effort. The thing that we really want to understand is, is they have a flight zone and I like to draw a line right in the middle of their shoulder. So if you're in front of their shoulder and you're close to them, they're going to want to go backwards. If you're behind their shoulder, they're going to want to go forwards. The other thing is, is you want your hand all the way up under the chin. Don't get your hand down there on the throat. You get it down on the throat, they're going to really push and be able to push. Be able to push. We get it under the chin, we lift it up, that's the break. If we're behind the shoulder and we reach and, and tap them on the tail or twist their tail, that's forward break is, is under the chin. And I'm also going to demonstrate how to restrain an animal, set it down uh, without using the flanking of the calf technique, which doesn't take near as much energy with sheep. So when we come in, I'm going to try and uh, just catch the ewe with her head up. I'm going to reach right up under the chin, standing behind her shoulder so that she wants to move forward. But, but I've got her chin to catch the break here. I, I want her touching my knees here, and I'm putting my right hand on the right hip, okay? As long as I have here, it's okay. If I let my hand drop, she can push, and I can't stop her. I get my hand up under her chin, she'll just automatically stop, okay? When we have the sheep here, a common mistake that people will always do is reach down to grab the flank and try and lift and throw the animals, uh, like you would see someone that's tying a calf in a rodeo. But sheep, if you'll just bring the nose over, where you just almost touch your hip, touch your hand here, bring the nose over, and then push down, push down and backwards into you. They'll trip over, reach and grab the forearm, and then tip them back. Okay? In this position, the animals are mobilized, their feet is up off the ground. If we needed to check their hooves for something, if we needed to check for mastitis um, or, or, or some type of thing, you've got the sheep completely immobilized. We can reach over, check for their teeth in a situation like this if we needed to restrain them. And so that's a, a common and easy to use technique to uh, restrain a, a sheep of any size.